Everyone has a ritual, a superstition, a pattern of behavior regularly performed in a set manner. Teams, players, coaches, and fans. Whether it's uniform routines, face paint, or other traditions passed down through legacy, rituals play a big part of sports culture. These are our rituals. The line and it's a standing ovation as Steph Curry comes on. Rituals and teams are important just because there's so many games. We play over 100 throughout the year, including the playoffs. You need those things to kind of sell your nerves, just get your mind right and just be able to relax and focus and enjoy what you get to do for a living. So those routines really just help me settle in. I mean, appreciate the day, the build up to game time. And no matter what game it is, one, 82, playoffs, finals, whatever it is, it's just another basketball game that I got to be ready to play. Some of them are quirky, some are goofy, some don't make sense, some are necessary but that's all a part of the process of you know, playing at a high level. Steph from three-quarter court, and he picked it in! Yeah, my game day rituals are pretty extensive from the time I wake up to the time the game starts. I mean, a lot of it happens on the floor in terms of my shoot-around routine and you know, my pre-game warm-up routine and kind of how I mean, shots I get up, the sessions that I have to get my mind ready to get kind of see the ball go in the basket and all that type of stuff. But in terms of like off the court, I have the same breakfast pretty much every morning. After shoot around, I go home. I take a, probably a two hour nap pretty much every day around the same time. In the car on the way to the game, I have cleverly named a pregame playlist on my phone that has it right now about 12 songs, but it's, it's growing by the day. But when I pull into Oracle or any road arena, I play the same song for that last like three minutes of the drive. And that song's changed every year. It just kind of gets me into the, to focus on now it's game time. As soon as I get out the car, get into the locker room, I know, you know what time it is. Side dribble drive all the way, hand off Looney, back to Curry, corner three, got it! Uh, my entrance song last year was uh, If It Isn't Love by New Edition. Like try to mimic the dance in the car on the way, like the last three minutes. Uh, this year it's a throwback song by Grits called Ooh Ah. That was like a song I used to listen to back in high school. Actually, I take that back. Two years ago it was If It Isn't Love. Last year it was uh, Dance A Kuduro. It's all over the place. His 25th of his career, our Jeep shot of the game. Pretty extensive list from my shooting time about an hour and a half before the game. I have my shoes untied in the locker room, ready to go out down the hallway, down the, to the floor. Norm, who's our security guard by the door, he always yells out, Warrior coming out. And then all the other security people down the hallway, they all yell, Hold him up. But I started to yell that myself, and I do like this little jump hop situation that makes no sense, but uh, I yell, hold them up, run down onto the court, tie my shoes on the bench, do my shooting routine, and try to create a, a clever like runoff shot for my last shot in the corner. And then Curtis, my man Curtis, so passed me the ball for me to shoot my tunnel shot, sign autographs for the fans to show up early. My last little routine is I do like a, I don't know how long it is, probably, I'm gonna call it a 100 meter dash, down the tunnel, down the hallway, back to the locker room. And uh, I have one of my guys in the hallway basically do the, uh, the starters call, your market set, and he mimics the gun going off. I haul it back to the, to the locker room, that's pretty much it. I have no idea how they started. One by one, just add a little bit and add a little bit until you find the full routine. They just get you going. Because I, I like to have fun and enjoy it. I try not to take those moments too seriously because you know it is a long day and you got to be locked in for you know, two and a half hours in that game. So I just try to relax and be goofy and have fun. Most points at Oracle now for Curry with 51. It's tough because it's kind of like I, only, I give myself five shots. I don't want to be there all day if I'm missing, but I don't know. It's just a little challenge to get ready for the game. It has nothing to do with actually playing 48 minutes of basketball, but it gives me a little competition with myself before we start, and I kind of rely on that. So obviously it's a show. It's entertaining. Me and Curtis have a good chemistry going. Even if I miss it, it's a cool little minute and a half where I can just, just have fun and, and, and try something crazy. Riding on my shoes started back in college and something my mom uh, challenged me to, to do my first practice at my freshman year. So that's now 13 year tradition. And it just again reminds me who I'm playing for when I put my shoes on to appreciate the opportunity I get to play the game. 
and sending out the lock-in tweet was something I honestly don't know how that started, um, but it was just something, one, for me to just put my phone down. That was the last thing I did before I uh, took, took the floor and sent the tweet out, but it became something that was, I think, fun just for the fans to know, one, when the game was on, getting ready to start, but that, you know, when Warrior basketball is on, we call on Dub Nation to support us, that means a lot. I don't really see the reaction too much. Sometimes when I've been hurt for a while and I send that first one back when I come back from injury, it gets people excited. It gets me excited, too, because I, I love playing the game and I miss doing that when I'm out. For the most part, it's the last thing I do before I leave the locker room and it's time to play basketball. Whether you see it behind the scenes or not, it's all a part of game day experience and it makes you know, the atmosphere a little bit more special. It's certain stuff that I do, I try to play into it and just have fun. going to go to the rim. It's Iguodala. It's a tip. He hit the shot. Three ball. Left corner. Pocket. The lane to the rim, spins it up and in! They love it at all! Curry from way out there!